All right, hi guys, and thank you for joining us for this edition of Reporter's Notebook. I'm Emily Severage here in our digital studio, and we are joined today by Nine on Your Side's Kayla Schmidt. She is also a digital reporter, and Kayla has been covering the Big Rock Tournament for the past two days, so I'm gonna bring her on up here. Hi Kayla, how you doing? Hey Emily, how are you? I am hot and I am tired, but it has been a fun two days. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. So this is the 62nd annual Big Rock celebration. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's for fishermen to come from all across the country and compete in fishing competitions, as well as do community entertainment and fun events and things like that. Um, so Kayla, talk to me a little bit about, you know, what specific, it's called the Big Rock Blue Merlin Tournament. So they're fishing for Blue Merlin and tell me a little bit about those fish. I mean, they're huge. <laughs> Yeah, so a blue marlin is humongous. I mean, the weight they're looking for, for the um, a half a million dollar purse, which means the prize is uh, 500 pounds. The one that has come close to that and still is in first, first place is Boat Predator. Um, that crew brought in a marlin weighing 494.2 pounds. So they were just six pounds away, shy from 500. I couldn't imagine um, how they were feeling. That was day one. In second place, a uh, boat had her done from Garner, North Carolina, brought in a Marlin weighing 488 pounds. But what you're seeing now is what happened today. The crowd went wild. Michael Jordan's boat, Catch 23 out of Florida, brought in a blue Marlin weighing 442 Point three pounds that puts him in sixth place everyone thought come on michael jordan he's gotta get it he's gotta get the big 500 pounder but he said he will be out there again with his crew uh they can fish four out of the six days so he will definitely be back out on the water and around moorhead city so We'll see if we can see him there. Um, Hammer Time from um, Oakdale, North Carolina is in fourth place, weighing in at 450.2. So we're seeing Marlins close to that 500 um, pound mark, just not quite there yet. Another thing about these fish is that when they are um, reeled in and the angler takes them on board, they do have the possibility to lose five to 10 pounds in blood and other things so when you take that into account some of these marlin may be 500 pounds it's just taking them out of the water on to the boat that is cutting it that close that is so crazy and those are huge fish i mean i can't imagine reeling those in that must take you know multiple men to bring those up onto the boat that is so crazy and you know everyone here in the newsroom when we got that footage about you know, we knew Michael Jordan's boat was out there, but nobody was really sure if he was there with the boat. So when we got that footage, I know everybody here in the newsroom was like, oh my gosh, like that's so cool that he's actually there. Um, so that's awesome. You got footage of that and um, got a spotting of him down there. That's so cool. Um, so talk to me a little bit about, you know, what are some of the entertainment they have going on down there? Like food or um, fun traditions that they do at this tournament? Well, I haven't been per se uh, down the strip yet with all of the artwork and everything. I have seen um, a bunch of vendors setting up. I've been kind of planted uh, at the way station just watching these boats come in and their crews and watching the crowd reaction. But there are a bunch of vendors. I know I saw one, a painter with beautiful artwork, just artwork by the sea, if uh, you want to call it that. Um, but there's a lot of things to do, not only watch fish, shop, eat enjoy the view that's awesome and i saw you you know digging into some delicious looking watermelon earlier so i'm sure that was great for a hot day like today <laughs> yes and i was very lucky to receive a slice of that watermelon it's a tradition for the security and the big rock staff at the way station to cut that watermelon and share it with each other. Our photographer, Kenneth Roundtree, is a part of that tradition. And he uh, allowed uh, myself and Nolan Knight to join in on it. 
And I must say that was some good watermelon. So that's a tradition that the security and big rock employees have that we got to just join this year. Oh, that's awesome. And they are doing, you know, for those people who don't know, some new kind of guidelines for the first year for this tournament because of COVID-19 still kind of going on. So what are some of those guidelines and restrictions that they have going down at the tournament right now? Yeah, so most of the crowd is actually um, it, watching from small boats out in the water. Uh, so when you're looking at footage and you're seeing small boats behind the big boat at the way station, the, that is a crowd. That's crowds watching that have boats. Uh, the people that don't, they're asked to stay six feet apart. And the Big Rock competition is... Um, trying to make that happen there are signs but especially with michael jordan today i will say that it did get a little crowded up um but where where we are there there is enough space there's only 25 people allowed in the viewing area at the time which keeps them socially distant family and friends only including media and then the crowd behind the fence um, there are signs listed on there, stapled on there, showing exactly where to stand. Awesome. And, and you know, I mean, have you seen any crowd depletion because of COVID-19 or is it just, you know, as big this year as it's been in years past? You know, people aren't letting COVID-19 stop them from going, you know, the 62nd annual event for this, you know. Yes. Well, I spoke to a woman yesterday who's been attending for 20 years. She says the turnout was great. So I can't speak on last year since this is my first year attending. But I mean, the turnout today, you could imagine with Michael Jordan's boat coming in. Um, but uh, there, it, it is different. It is a different type of festival. But I've also, I mean, tournament, I'm sorry. But I also heard that some, uh, that from people that have attended in the past that this setup is almost better. Um, it doesn't crowd the voters. It doesn't crowd the way station and people uh, can actually have some breathing room. Awesome. So, you know, maybe this is some regulations for, you know, just distance wise to keep it more entertaining and enjoyable for people that they'll look into for next year. Who knows? We don't know. <laughs> but um, exactly. That's awesome. Is there and I will say, sorry, sorry. I will say my favorite fact I learned was the blue marlin isn't a fish to eat. The only reason that they do catch them, um, uh, they, they do catch them and then they uh, donate them to marine science centers and institutes to study. The reason they don't eat the fish is because of the mercury levels. Okay, that's very interesting. Very cool. And I mean, those are huge fish. So that is a great question. Great knowledge to know what do they even do with them afterwards? They are gigantic. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you have had a great two days out there enjoying the festivities, enjoying the nice weather, you know, getting a spot of Michael Jordan. <laughs> um, I hope you didn't get too sunburned or anything because I know if I was out there, I would be roasted right now. <laughs> So. It's okay. I have a, I have a little burn, but I, I didn't get to meet Michael Jordan himself. I saw him visibly, didn't get to meet him, but I got to meet the best next thing, which was, hold on, drumroll, please, his fish that he caught. There is me and Nolan Knight, our sports reporter, with Michael Jordan's catch. Oh well, gosh. Michael Jordan's boat catch i should say he's just the owner of the boat he is not the captain or the angler that is so cool so it's basically the same thing as meeting him i mean you got to stand next to the fish he touched so <laughs> oh yeah and i touched the fish and all and i put some hand sanitizer on and <laughs> We were all good but i can say i stood next to michael jordan's blue marlin so oh, yeah. But they're putting that on the resume. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having such a great time out there. Thank you so much for taking this time, Kayla, to sit down and talk with us for this reporter's notebook. And guys, we'll be continuing WNCT's live coverage at the Big Rock Blue Marlin Festival for the rest of the week at 1.30 and 4 o'clock on WNCT Now, which is live streamed on WNCT.com. Com, and it will also be in our five and six o'clock broadcast from the reporters that are going to be down there live every day, enjoying the festivities, finding out what's going on and keeping you guys updated on the tournament. So thank you so much, Kayla. Have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. And also you guys can watch the boats. Well, I have been 
doing Facebook Lives as the boats are uh, backed into uh, the landing. So if you missed a boat, if you missed Michael Jordan's boat and you want to see it, head to our Facebook page. You can see the whole live video of it happening. Well, it's pre-recorded now, but you know what I mean. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kayla. <laughs> Bye, Emily. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for this Reporter's Notebook and have a great rest of your Tuesday evening.